All right, all right, all right. We're back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. As usual, I'm your host, Mark Pierce. I hope you're doing all right today. Who's got a case of the Mondays, right? Well, what do we got going on today? Well, we're doing things a little differently today. This absolutely should and could be an Octane Friday topic. My Octane Fridays are booked into early October already. And it's the actual anniversary of this record, so I figured, hey, I can do it. I, you know, I can do this. I can do this any day of the week, right? So, for those of you who are not fans of uh, '80s metal music, well, you get a little break. So you got people getting a little break on Saturday if they're not Floyd fans, and now you get people who get a break if they're not fans of this music. But there's a lot of you out there that are, so I know I'm going to hear from some of you. Uh, so what are we talking about today? We're talking about on this date in 1984, the band Dokken puts out their second record, Tooth and Nail. How about that, right? I can think about Dokken, and I just think they're, they're probably a band who just did not get credit where credit is due when it came to the 80s and that kind of music. I mean, they really put out some good stuff. I'm a big fan here. So uh, who are they? Well, Don Dawkin comes out of California, um, and that's where they get their start. They started in uh, 1979, um, and when you read about them, it's a little hard to keep track, so we're going to show you a flow chart. Hold on one second. How about a little professor education on Dawkin today? You didn't know you were going to get a lesson on Dawkin, but let's check this out. Here we go. As Dawkin turns. So you got Don Dawkin. He's in Airborne with these two other cats, Bobby and Juan. They leave and they form Firefox with two X's, which reminds me of Fox Force 5, which is the pilot TV show in Pulp Fiction, right? That Uma Thurman is going to be in. Firefox is here, right? Then you got Dawkin, who brings in these two cats, Leon and Holland. They end up leaving. One of them replaces Randy Rhodes in Quiet Riot, right? Randy Rhodes joins Ozzy, and this cat joins Quiet Riot. The other dude, Holland, joins a band called Dante Fox. What's up with Fox? The name Fox in early 80s metal music. Dante Fox becomes... Great White. How about that? Then, when these two cats leave, who comes in in 81? George Lynch and Mick Brown. Right? Around that time in 82, Don Dawkins in Germany, and he actually sings some songs with the Scorpions because they're doing their album Blackout, and their singer is struggling with voice problems, so they bring him in. Ends up, he's not the singer on the record, but he does do backup. At the same time, those three other dudes are recording with a guy named Udo. This guy's name is Udo Lindenberg, not Udo Dirkschneider. That's who this is, Udo Dirkschneider. Who's Udo, Udo Dirkschneider? The singer from Accept. We'll talk about him another day. Uh, and that's when they come together and they do arena tours with Blue Oyster Cult in 1983. And when they're getting ready to put out Tooth and Nail, one of their dudes leaves and joins Rat, right? And then they tour, they kind of hit it big, and they tour with Judas Priest, ACDC, Dio, Kiss, the Scorpions. That's when they hit it big. Lynch eventually leaves and forms the Lynch Mob uh, in 84, or, sorry, 89, and then they have a reunion in 94. That's a lot to catch up with, right? as Dawkin turns. So, back to when they're coming to putting this record out. Their first record didn't do so well. Uh, it did terribly, actually, and so the label was like struggling to even have a reason for them to put out a second record. Hence the name Tooth and Nail. They had to fight Tooth and Nail just to get this record out. They're touring in Germany, uh, and they meet this uh, sound engineer for the band, except, remember, Udo Dirkschneider, uh, and he goes back with them to L.A., and they start working with him. Um, through all these lineup changes and everything, that's when they finally put together this 
lineup for this album, but Don Dawkin and George Lynch did not like each other. They couldn't even be in the same studio together. But this is a good record. This is uh, my introduction to them for sure. Uh, I went to number 49, uh, sold 500,000 copies in the first 10 months, went platinum. So some good stuff on there. I got two tracks on here that I really like. Uh, and there's three songs I think that were popular. So you got Alone Again, which is really the beginning of the power ballad. I mean, in 1984, that's when we're just beginning to see that, right? I mean, you had Motley Crue coming up, Rat. You had, uh, I mean, Def Leppard had been around for a little bit. Um, but that, this is pretty early in that, that type of music, right? Uh, the song Into the Fire, which I love this song. I don't know if many people know this song. I mean, they, they play it on Hair Nation, but a uh, great story with uh, Brian Toddick. He had a Brian Adams t-shirt when I was in college, and it said Into the Fire on the back, and I always thought that was the funniest thing for those music geeks. So I thought, first of all, Brian Adams, Into the Fire. What's that all about? And this song by Dawkins, Into the Fire, and I would say to him, don't you know that song, Into the Fire? And, of course, I would sing it, Into the Fire! And he would be like, I have no idea what you're talking about, Mark. None. And he thought that was always so funny because he would do he would sing in my voice and he had a song he had no idea. And then another song is called Just Got Lucky. That's that's a good song too. So uh speaking of song of the day, what are we doing? Well, it's gotta be alone again. I mean, I don't even know if I've done a power ballad in 150 episodes yet, but this is gonna be your first one. Alone again, Dokken. That's my introduction to Dokken. Love this song. We're at almost seven minutes. That's your song of the day. Crank it up. Tell me what you think. It's a great way to start the week. If you're a fan, let me know. Have a great day, and as usual, I'll catch you on the flip side.